hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can create the bar chart all right so the bar chart is here within the chart section of this assets panel and uh, we can drag it where we want right as you can see if i'm going right towards right side this is how the shape is taking if i'm coming a little bit on the left side a, a vertical big vertical shape that it is taking so depends on how we want uh, we can place it like if i'm coming on the central it is taking the entire area so let me put it over here and uh, simply add the dimension now i have added some of the dimension into my master items which i've given you as an exercise so if I go on the master dimension, create it few of the very simple dimension just for the exercise and created few of the measures, right? So I can simply go ahead and add the dimension, let's say customer segment. And I want to add the measure, let's say profit, sum of profit. All right, so now we have the information here, a very simple information about uh, the profit by customer segment and we can clearly see that corporate is the biggest one whereas um, home office small business consumer are pretty much the same now as you can see these are just four categories so we can come over here and click and drag it towards the right and as you are dragging it you can see uh, it is uh, changing the bar space so based on how we want to uh, have a look and feel from the bar chart we can put it okay um, after that let's come over here that uh, uh, and review these sections so first segment first section is the uh, data sex section and over here we have the uh, customer segment we can add more dimension we can add alternative dimension I'll talk about that in later uh, in a different video uh, what what alternative dimensions are similarly if you look at uh, measure you have one measure and you can add uh, other measure if you want as well as you have the option of adding an alternative measure which I'll show you in a different video after that you have the option of doing this sorting where you can uh, open up these uh, dimension and measure uh, by default auto is enabled you can uh, disable it and if you disable it manual options are now given so sort by expression sort numerically sort alphabetically these options are available and after that uh, even looking at the profit sum you have the option of disabling it where you will again get uh, options like sort numerically descending sort alphabetically little different from the dimension so for now I will just enable this I will explain uh, all of these different sorting options because sorting plays a important role so maybe in a different video now uh, include zero values if you want to include the zero values but if you don't want just uncheck that very simple if you have any calculation condition based on which you want to show the chart you can specify that and we will look at in a different example uh, about how we can really enable the calculation conditions for the chart and make use of it because it's a very important one then you have the reference line because most of the time we want to add a reference line that uh, uh, maybe on 200k or maybe on 400k so that we can clearly see whether we are reaching towards the target or not so you can simply click on add reference line uh, give it a label reference line expression you want to give any color or anything and finally if you don't need uh, let's say you, you can even delete that for now let me delete that um, after that you have the appearance where you have a lot of properties which is general where you can give title subtitle and footnote as well as you have presentation how you want to show the bar chart vertical or horizontal you can clearly do that um, scroll alignment if there is a scrolling enabled uh, grid line spacing by default auto you can uncheck and manually specify uh, value labels again simple on and off so you can really see if I enable it uh, you are getting the labels and as you can see it is smart enough that uh, over here the bar is reaching towards the height so in that case it has put the label inside but here in this case it is outside of the bar as well as in black color whereas this is in white color so that's the kind of smart feature we get it 
similarly you have uh, the properties like color and legend by default auto um, x-axis and uh, y-axis very similar properties about label and title position scale medium you have like white narrow and all which with which you can really experiment and uh, make and basically you know put uh, uh, the look and feel which you want to use but I just wanted to run it through quickly because uh, many times we want standard but uh, sometimes it is important that you should know what are these properties which are available under the different headings so since we are looking at first time it's a good idea to look at all of these different properties so that's about how you can create a bar chart within the uh, power within the fixed axis.